There's been a recent change to how you install and work with the Dataverse Routines Power Apps templates. I'll walk you through what's changed and how to install them now right after this. So I've had several comments from some of you all who have watched my previous videos where I overview some of those Power Apps templates for Dataverse Routines. Some of you have noticed that the links to install are no longer there and even might be having issues where if you have the applications installed previously, they might not work. So I wanted to walk you through what's changed. Now first, if you haven't heard of these templates or it's been a while, to get to these, you would actually open up Microsoft Teams like I have open here, and you would download and install and open up the Power Apps application for Teams. On the home screen of the Power Apps application, we have this get started with these app templates section. Now before we had an add button here, where we could do kind of a one click installation of these templates. You'll notice that that add button is removed now. So what's happened is Microsoft has switched to open sourcing these Dataverse Routines Power Apps templates. And by open sourcing these templates, it allows us to be able to more quickly address bugs in these templates and also add new features. Now, let me walk you through now how you would go about utilizing these templates, though, now that they've shifted to GitHub. So we could start here in the Power Apps app for Teams and go into any one of these templates that you want to use. So let's do the employee ideas. So I'm going to select Get Started. Now this will route us to the GitHub repo where this template is stored. Now, each template should have a readme file like you're seeing here, and it should have documentation and an installation guide to walk you through. So once you review this information here, if you want to install these solutions, we can actually go back one folder here in GitHub. So what I clicked on from Power Apps was to take me directly to the employee ideas, which is essentially just a folder in GitHub. So I can use this breadcrumb here to go back to the Teams Power Apps templates folder. So this will actually show all of the Dataverse for Teams templates here. But we need to get the zip file that contains these Teams app solutions. So to do that, if you look here on the right hand side, you'll see this releases section. And you'll want to click on whatever's showing up here as the latest release. And if you scroll all the way down, then you'll see the assets in this release. So you'll notice we have source code and then we have this app packages zip. So you can actually click on this app packages.zip file and that will initiate a download of that zip file. And you'll see that actually extracts all of the Dataverse for Teams templates for us. So we have a folder for each of the individual templates and we have a corresponding zip file for that template. So now that we have that, we can take the zip file of the solution that we want to install and go back over to Teams. So to install this in Teams, we'll actually go over here into the Apps tab in the left-hand side of the Teams rail and select the Manage Your Apps button in the bottom left-hand corner. And then we'll go to upload an app and then you'll need to choose your option here. So if you're just wanting to install it for your own personal use or maybe use in a small team that you manage, you could choose this upload a custom app option. If you are a administrator for teams, you can also through here do the second option and upload the app into the app catalog for your entire organization. And if you're not an admin, but you do want it to be available for your entire organization, you can choose this third option to submit it to approval to add into that app catalog. So I just want to use this for me and a couple of people that I work with. So I'm going to use the upload a custom app option, and then we'll just browse to where we extracted those zip files. So it's in this app package folder and there is our employee ideas and we'll choose this teams custom app dot zip. So now that will give me the prompt that we're used to seeing here when we're installing a Teams application. So we can choose Add to a Team and I'll select our HR team. Now all we have to do is do Set up a tab and that will go through the typical installation process for some of these templates. We can optionally choose to post to the channel about this, which I'll uncheck for now and we'll click Save. And now it's just doing all the behind the scenes stuff like creating and provisioning the Dataverse for Teams environment in the table and setting up that Power App. And now once that setup is done, we'll be prompted to authenticate into the different connectors it uses. And then we'll go through the setup and configuration for the app itself. So this needs to set up the team and channel that it will post to. So I can select those here and we'll go, let's go. And it will finish that setup here. We'll click, got it. And now the app is ready to use like normal. So same functionalities in these templates, just slightly different on how we install them now. 
And of course, once I have this template installed, I can go to the Power Apps application for Teams, select the Build tab, go to the team that I just installed that in, which is our HR team, and navigate over to Installed Apps. And then I'll see there's the Employee Ideas app that we just installed with the new way from the GitHub repo. So I can select See All and see all the components that make up this particular template. So now if I need to make any changes here on the back end, like a change to a table, I can go into the employee idea table. We can edit the data manually here, add columns and all of that. And of course, in the apps tab, we can open up any of these applications here that make up this solution in the back end by clicking on the three dots and going to edit and then make any tweaks to the user interface and the application itself that we need to here. So I didn't really want to overcomplicate this. This is really all there is to it. I wanted to let you know about the change because I noticed there wasn't a lot of publicity or uh, messaging out there letting people know that this did change. So I wanted to let you know that it's different the way that we install these and walk you through how you would go about installing and utilizing these templates now. If you have any feedback or comments about this new way of interacting with these Dataverse Routines templates, I'd love to hear it. Drop a note in the comments. And as always, do me a favor, if you like this content, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Hey, before you go, check out some of these other videos where I talk about Dataverse Routines.